Hi everyone, welcome back to Mardas Games, your home from our some indie games showcases. Today we are taking a dive into Fusan City of Wolves, an upcoming cyberpunk action title. Imagine a harsh 2049 Korea, a cyberpunk landscape full of neons, nightclubs and gangs teeming with danger at every corner. You become a Jin, a local fixer in Kusan with a mysterious military past and a powerful prosthetic arm. Jin is an ex-special ops veteran of a brutal conflict that happened five years before. His scars run deep. Now, new problems appear on the surface, but strangely they pull behind them old ones from the past. Government agent Ayn seeks Jin's skills, offering him a deal he can't refuse. He must protect a Haru, a young girl with unique psychic abilities, from a shadow terrorist group seeking to exploit her powers. With his past demons resurfacing and Haru's life hanging in the balance, Jim embarks on a mission to uncover the truth. Key factor in Haru's story part is that she's a daughter of an old long dead friend from a Spec Ops squad. Quick note, gameplay footage of whole showcase is based on playtests from beginning of February 2024. Get ready for intense, fast-paced action quite similar to Hotline Miami. Blast through the doors, death like bullets with your cybernetic arm and take down enemies with brutal efficiency. Mistakes are costly, requiring quick thinking and strategic planning. However, unlike Hotline Miami protagonist, Jin is a trained soldier. His skills and upgrades add a layer of depth to the combat. Each death becomes a learning experience, helping you master the dance of violence and emerge victorious. Kushan City of Wolf boasts stunning pixel art that brings the neon drenched cyberpunk world to life. Vibrant colors and the talent environment lets you quickly identify threats and plan your next move. Immersive electronic music pulsates through the action, perfectly complementing the game's dark and heavy atmosphere. The soundtrack seamlessly blends with the visual. I love that devs choose to present story in comic panels cutscenes, mixing pixel art gameplay with hand drawing very good. As an ex-special ops soldier, Jin is ruthless and his responses to your actions are instant, even chapter or stage you complete gives you a final score on the stage smart. From there you can restart to improve your score or continue the story. Once you finish a story, chapter made of three stages, your score are combined and you earn bolts. Use these bolts to buy upgrades at the station in your home or at the stage beginning. High scores mean better rewards and the upgrades are truly fun. Various skills are helpful and can personalize your gameplay. The knife pullback and range extender skills are must have. The game is still in development, so expect even more to unlock in the future. Upgrading your prosthetic arm also significantly benefits you, allowing you to finish off enemies more efficiently. Experimenting with new powers and skills is really fun and brutal. Jin can land a hit with his trusty prosthetic arm as his main weapon, but the arsenal expands quickly, throwing knife becomes an essential tool, eliminating foes with lethal grace. Pistol, shotgun and even powerful crossbow offer varied firing styles, while unique upgrades unlock devastating possibilities. Experimenting with different skills and weapons as a personal touch to your battle strategy. Revolver with good player aim can land an insta-kill hit, so definitely try different weapons and what best suits you. In the first stages you won't face a massive enemy variety, but there are different types and the full game will offer many more. Some use guns, other attacks with fists or blunt weapons. Since all characters are based on animals, some have animal traits. For example, towers enemies charge at you, slamming you into wall. The game still allows you to react with a small time window. Expect even more diverse enemies in the full game. The playtest hints a promising future in this regard. The final boss fight pits you against DJ Garak, based on one of the world's most dangerous monkeys, the Mandrill. He's tough, but with some practice and learning his attack pattern, you will overcome him. Definitely the game should be added to wishlist and you should keep eye on it. If you like challenging games or you are fan of old Hotline Miami, then yep, this game is for sure made for you. Chosen by developer's direction already shows big potential. So thank you for watching this video and I highly encourage you to subscribe for my channel. Thanks to that you will be able to discover more indie games every week and you won't gonna lose your money. Keep support indie games developers. Thanks and see ya.